Happy New Year. How's it going? It's your old pal Timmy Joe, and I forgot both my pairs of glasses at home. So, there's that. Um, yeah, so I haven't done any real content uh, for months now, but I mean, I've done some decent videos here and there. Uh, but uh, 2020 really, really made it hard. I was kind of creatively tapped out uh, when the year started, and it never, never recovered. Uh, I started doing this uh, myself, sometimes with a job, uh, you know, if you, the hardcore people that have been around from the beginning, you remember, um, you know, I had no subscribers. In the very beginning, I used to do these videos where I would build like skateboards out of uh, uh, with power wheels, motors, and make uh, potato guns and review anything. It kind of started with tech and then I like was like, well, there's too many people in the tech space, I won't fit in. Then I started doing other weird stuff and I made some skateboards uh, for this channel called Braille and uh, they got me like 3,000 subscribers because they featured one of my skateboards made a Lego in a video and it's like shouted out my channel and that really kept me going for a while and then uh, Ryzen launched. And I w I've been a computer nerd my whole life, but uh, I really hadn't been concentrating on it hardcore until Ryzen launched. Because it was a very stagnant space until that happened. And then new stuff happened and it was really fun. So, uh, you know, I, from 2017 until the beginning of last year, was putting out three, four videos a week, uh, kind of burning myself out. Uh, I was making enough money to survive and my IT business was growing a little more outside of YouTube. Uh, you know, I went to CES thanks to you guys and uh, that was pretty cool back in like 20, 2019, the beginning of 2019. And uh, then I was working out of my house out of a bedroom and it was cramped and then COVID happened and my kid was home and I kind of just lost lost my luster, lost my, my gusto, and it, I never really recovered it. And you know, roadblock after roadblock, excuses after excuses, we're here in the terrible year known as 2020 has left us. I'm sure there are a lot of you out there who can relate to the feelings I've had. Um, at the beginning of, uh, well the, it was like CES 2019, yeah, uh, when I got home, I was really overweight. I, I noticed in my CES coverage, it just I felt gross, uh, much as I do right now. And in 2019, I, I lost like 40 pounds and I was feeling really good. And then, uh, you know, I kind of stopped going to the gym near the end of 2019. And, you know, as soon as the COVID thing started, I just started eating at night again and staying up late and stuff like that. And, you know, I, uh, I'm sure a lot of you out there can relate. I gained like a lot of weight, like I probably gained 50, 45 pounds since the beginning of uh, COVID. Uh, it's, it's terrible. I was maybe at 250. I'm at 280 something right now. I'm, I'm almost, I'm creeping up on a really large number and it might not seem like it. I, I weigh a lot more than I look, uh, mostly because I'm like got big thick bones and stuff. I don't know what it is. I, I generally look, uh, you know, 40 pounds less than I actually am. When you compare me to someone else, I'm just a thick, thick, I'm a thick boy. So I guess what I wanted to just do was a, I wanted to do it yesterday, uh, but then I did a load of laundry, uh, like, cause I'm so big right now, I only have so many clothes that fit me. It's terrible. Like this is my Timmy Joe shirts. This is why I've been wearing fan shirts for, cause my shirts don't fit me anymore. And I only have a handful of sh skateboarding shirts that are meant to be like big rapper looking shirts that fit me right now. And it's making me really sad. So, I'm about to end up the year. I've actually been, uh, you know, eating better, sleeping better, gearing up towards like, you know, sometimes you just need a big momentous event to change your tune. I found it really hard to break out of my terrible routines, my depression and stuff like that. But there is literally a lot of good things happening as of like right now. Uh, you know, there's a, you know, no one likes to be political, but a huge transition to where there won't be this looming doom in the news all the time, hopefully, uh, you know, coming up very soon. 
know that I don't live there, but it certainly does affect me. Uh, and, uh, you know, the, the, the year is changing and I want to just go off in a new direction. But uh, I can't complain too much. You know, um, I'm relatively healthy. I live in a very, you know, far, far away place from like Toronto. I live about three and a half hours from Toronto where like, the, it's like you know, I live in upstate New York or something, but like literally there's like 10 active COVID cases here. So as far as COVID goes, I can't complain or really like use that as an excuse. Just this year, uh, I really let like the Trump stuff get in my head. I really let the bad, you know, the, the Black Lives Matter stuff and how they, you know, that stuff was treated and, uh, you know, the, the dying black people out there as a result of, you know, just like, it made me think like we were really in a bad spot and we really were. Uh, but I think I let it get a little bit too much uh, into me, but you need to do that as a human, right? You need to, um, allow bad stuff to affect you to necessitate change and we're at this pivot point here and uh, I wanted to thank all of you guys for watching my videos. Um, I got a also lazy just because my out the IT stuff outside of here has been paying the bills. Uh, you know I never did YouTube for monetary reasons. I wanted to to be famous. I wanted to be internet famous. I'm sort of internet famous in a very small pocket right now, but I always imagined it would go further than this. And to just like kind of give up on the YouTube channel just because I've kind of set myself back views wise and uh, and stuff like that. I think that would be a real shame. Yeah, it'd be a real shame. So I, I'm not going to stop making videos about computers, but I'd like to change in 2020 how I do this. And I've been collecting some stuff. I've been meaning to make some videos on this stuff. And I'm always, uh, you know, looking to build a computer on a budget and stuff like that. That's where I think I need the direction of the channel to go. This whole, like, just doing videos for the sake of getting a free case or video card or motherboard from a manufacturer or monitor, that's not good. That's not the, the reason I got into this. The free stuff's a perk. Uh, you know, and you do reviews and stuff like that. But if you remember back in the beginning, I was making custom stuff for computers. I was f putting computers in freezers. I was doing weird stuff like building computers inside of things like this record player I bought for like 20 bucks that I wanted to build a computer in. It looks really old and I thought this would be really cool. I've been looking for this switch. <laughs> I've honestly been looking everywhere for that switch. That's hilarious. Or remember, uh, I did this earlier this year. I made a case out of Bristol board or uh, foam board. That's the kind of fun stuff I want to be doing. I want to be looking at old weird video cards. It's like an HD 5700 or something. Old MSI action figures that are from the guys that they used to put on their cards back in the mid 2000s. Isn't that fun? What about uh, weird coolers? This is a nice Japanese dragon looking guy on here. This is an Asus that uh, Tyler, you know, you know, my buddy Tyler. Acrylic cases. I bought this and I haven't done anything with it yet. I mean, look how cool it is. I need to do stuff with that. Uh, overclocking the snot out of X58 Xeons. Stuff like that. So that's why I put this junk on the table. That's why I'm making this video here today. Just a probably 12 minute, we're at 10 minutes, a 10 minute long video where I kind of thank you guys for sticking with me with this stuff. And uh, I know the views haven't been up there, but uh, overwhelmingly the, the comments and stuff like that lead me to believe it's that the algorithm has shunned me for not being consistent and putting out, you know, decent videos enough uh, and not having like any sort of upload schedule. It's making the algorithm thinks I'm just doing this for fun right now. And I need to, I, I want to, you know, do it for fun, but I want to keep it as a professional thing. I don't want to go anywhere. So I want to be on YouTube. I want to make videos about computers. I want you guys to come along. And what I need to do is stop paying attention to the numbers and just consistently put out two, three videos a week on stuff that I'm having fun doing so that you guys can go, wow, that guy's genuinely interested in this weird old acrylic computer case or, you know, Zalman CPU cooler from 20 years ago or whatever. So thank you very much is all I gotta say. So there's a number, there, there's some people I wanna thank here. Number one, Silver Knight PCs, uh, nice guys. Um, they 
kind of, uh, they'll be getting me some stuff I can't get in Canada here. Like the stock on Canada is nuts. That, that's another thing. Been super depressed. How am I supposed to recommend a computer build when I can't even buy the stuff? If I go on Newegg, Ryzen CPUs, there's like none. There's barely any video cards. Right now, I really, really hope that the market fixes itself. But in the interim, does it matter if I have a 3080 or a 6800 XT? If I get my hands on one, that could be pretty fun. But that shouldn't be the whole reason why I'm doing the YouTube channel to talk about the newest hardware. There's lots of people that do that. That should be mixed in with other stuff. I need to do the fun stuff I enjoy, the weird cooling experiments. And I gotta be not afraid to, if I have a successful video like building a computer out of cardboard, follow it up with another computer made out of cardboard. There's this uh, channel, Major Hardware. Uh, he's been 3D printing fans since like maybe 80,000 subscribers, maybe 30,000 subscribers. And I think he's about to pass me or he's very close. And all he does, and he gets huge views, is 3D print computer fans. So there's obviously like some value in repetition on YouTube and you know, building a computer case out of this stuff and then revamping the design and doing a follow-up video. I never do that stuff. I feel like once I do something, it's done. That's not a great way, a mentality, so I'm trying to change that. But uh, some APCs, they told me that their, their, guy, their manufacturers, their uh, distributors are saying that we're gonna be August before things really start to level out here. So we got another six months of crappy availability on cards and stuff like that, minimum. So let's do some other stuff in the interim and have some fun with that. So I also wanna thank uh, anyone who's ever donated anything on the channel, anyone that sent me emails or helped me out with stuff. There's, there's a whole lot of you. I'm terrible with names and I don't remember a lot of people so I, it's hard for me to just whatever, but Patreon, there's like 50, four of you out there that still give me money on Patreon. And it's only a couple hundred bucks, but it's something I've come to rely on and I've noticed it's been dwindling and I need to revamp. I'm gonna put you guys in the credits and I'm going to uh, add a tier, I guess, and uh, do some content solely on Patreon. I've been actually following some people on Patreon that do this, but I wanna thank Alex Damoff, Roderick Pruitt III, Corey Martin, Joseph Ravu, Stephen Baker, Chris Dupree, Malette, Tim uh, Jabin, Janbin, Joshua Majors, Malachi, Diego Miguel, Charles Fairchild, Dustin Wilson, Matt Childs, uh, Mike Barber, War, Chris, Chrisimir, Passage Check, Tom Roop, David Scott, Patrick, Rodney Tyler Mobley, Torstein Norum Bouge, Bouge, Michael Ramsey, you're a cool guy, Jared Schmidt, Sean Hinkle, Tark, Dominique Springes, Rowan Simmons, David Wright, Jonas Patzer, Stephen Coran, I don't have my glasses on right now, Coranda, Jimmy Jones, Stephen Berman, Rob G, Jacob Easelhorn, <laughs> making some Germans angry right now, Asher Morgan, Brent DeBurr, Yusuf L. Bell, Christopher Anthony Castillo, Cosmic Drew, Francisco J. Sausendo Barboza, uh, Rinzi Garz Duck, Rick, oh, Rick, hi, Rick. <laughs> you know who you are. Uh, Moadim Atreides, Sammy Coho, uh, Orjan Rusty, Jason Peruca. You still, you're still kicking it, buddy. That guy, he's given me video cards over the years. He's, he's paid for some stuff. He's a super nice guy. David Kinman, Matthew Mitchell, Clifford Caddy, Aaron uh, Lodesby, Kirk Daniels, Chris Van Alstein, John Andrea, Ted uh, Melkuvmov, which I, Sorry, dude. That's a Silver Knight PC guy. Thank you very much, Ted. And that's it. So thank you very much to all the Patreon people. You could theoretically uh, not go and edit your pledge right now because you go, oh yeah, I've been giving that guy five bucks a month for six months now and he's been an asshole. Please don't do that. If you really wanted to follow me on Patreon, uh, you could go and donate like one to five dollars. Uh, I will, I promise, I super promise, revamp the Patreon tiers so I'm actually doing content for you guys. And I wanna like exclusively like the community build it on Patreon and have like, uh, you know, any access for like a, a buck. Or maybe if you wanna be in the, you know, name in the credits, it's like, you know, you have to do like two or four or $5 or something like that. But uh, 
It's been a hell of a year, guys. Thanks to all the Patreon people. Thanks to anyone who's ever helped me, donated hardware, stuff like that. Uh, you know, there's a lot of content I wanna, I still have to make here. And I wanna start doing what I think is fun and just put this year behind us and have a, a grand old time because uh, I'm not gonna let 2020 define me and my, you know, my shirt that doesn't fit anymore. Uh, I'm gonna get down 20, 30 pounds, you know, healthy, uh, you know, make it so that when I come up the third, the three floors of stairs to my office, I'm not out of breath, stuff like that. And uh, make it so I'm healthy for my kid. And you know, I was worried, you know, what happens if I did get COVID or something like that? I'm a bigger guy, I've got heart disease in my family. I gotta worry about that stuff. My dad died at like 50 something of cancer. My mom died a year before of a heart attack. Uh, my grandma had all kinds of cancer. My grandfather had triple bypass. There's so, my grandfather and mother on my other side, they all died of heart attacks and cancer too. So it's like, you gotta, there's only so much time on this earth and you can believe what you want about what happens after. But what I believe is what really matters is what you're doing in the here and now, because we're very lucky to be these conscious people existing in a world when, I mean, how many planets, how many whatever, how many universes is there where so much worse is happening? Uh, you know, in our very world right now, I could be living in a third world country. I'm very lucky I live in Canada. I'm a white dude. Not a lot of people give me that many trouble. There's some crime and stuff right now around my area, but nothing like a lot of you guys experience out there. You know, I'm, I'm sure, uh, especially in, you know, some less fortunate countries and stuff like that. So I don't have a hell of a lot to complain about. And that's the focus I need to remain on in 2021 is to do the best I can because it would be an absolute waste for me not to. And I'm gonna hopefully make you guys laugh well, it's happening. I'm at Watch Timmy Joe Instagram and Twitter. There's a link to Patreon below. Uh, wait, you know, you, you could go there and do some stuff now, but we're gonna get to it. Uh, it'll take me a week or two to get on the train uh, with, the, it's locked down here and my wife's going to work and stuff like that. So I gotta take care of the kid here and there. But uh, hopefully by the end of January, there's a consistent schedule going on. I'm gonna be 37 this year. And January 13th is my birthday. Oh my God, 37. <laughs> Concentrate on the good, buddy. Anyways, I'm at Watch Team Joe Instagram and Twitter. Thanks for listening to me battle, got babble, guys. And uh, happy new year. And I hope all of you guys can share this wonderful outlook that I'm bringing upon myself so we can prosper this year and really show the tech community that we're a force to be reckoned with, y'all Timmy Joe heads. <laughs> Keep it sleazy.